Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Adventures of E-Man. And this is I, E-Man 5000, with my horse here. Um, we are just here at, uh, I guess I'll call it my spawn village. I haven't really named it yet, but uh, yeah, uh, spawn village area. Uh, our main air base of operations. And uh, I have some plans. I, I mean, it's it's December, Christmas time, or at least the holidays for... Uh, trying to be respectful to all religions and sects, uh, sex as an S E C T S, um, and uh, yeah, just uh, I'm getting into the spirit of the holidays and um, listening to uh, my all-time favorite Christmas album right now is uh, Pentatonics. Um, what's or it's called? That's is it, are there. Uh, main song is That's Christmas to Me. I don't remember if that's their titled album, but uh, anyways, uh, the new Pentatonix album is amazing. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. Um, and one of the songs on it is called That's Christmas to Me. And it really speaks to me, um, just kind of reminds me that everybody has their own Christmas and uh, we should share how we celebrate Christmas. So today we're going to do a little bit Christmas ep special episode. Uh, so I'm going to write it right up here. Uh, <laughs> Christmas special. All right. And uh, yeah, so one thing we want to do is we want to give a gift to our horse. Uh, and uh, oh, don't want to do that. Oh, there we go. Uh, you might have seen that my inventory but I hope you didn't um, so we have here a name we're gonna give this horse a name a gift of a name wasn't well, that great uh, I didn't get any suggestions in the comments so I'm gonna give it my own name and I am gonna call it Rufus Rufus the horse that's I think that's a good name what's funny is today was my brother's birthday and uh, he turned for 14 we um, my sisters and grandparents gave him a Chris or a birthday card, and it was about a sock puppet. It was a hilarious little Christmas card, and the name of the sock puppet was Ru Rufus. And so that must have been in my head all day. Um, and so now the horse's name is Rufus. Another thing we're gonna give it is some new armor. Isn't that cool? Um, I went to the Nether Fortress, as you saw, got a bunch of stuff, um, including Nether Wart, which we were looking for and uh, plenty of uh, materials for our potion making, uh, but we also got this diamond saddle. So we're gonna put on the diamond sat or the diamond plated uh, armor, which will give it plenty of armor. I don't know if it shows, yeah, it shows uh, almost full armor. So that's cool. Oh no, that's me. I almost have full armor. So yeah, we're we actually kind of match. So I wanna get into F5 and uh, Oh, I won't take a screenshot yet. Oh, come on, move forward. Uh, here we are. Uh, get in the picture. Get in the shot here. Rufus. All right. Isn't that cool? Yes. Isn't that great? Um, so anyways, that was awkward. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, okay. Uh, here we go. Another thing we want to do is we want to Christmas this place up a little bit. Spruce it up with some spruce trees uh, and giant spruce trees, I would say for our Christmas tree. I want a huge Christmas tree right here. This is going to be town center eventually. There's going to be, uh, I don't know, buildings everywhere. Um, and uh, so right here I had terraformed a little bit, flattened everything out. Um, and right here is going to be where our Christmas tree is. So let's try to get, for the first try, I'm going to try to get uh, the best Christmas tree possible. We hope, hopefully it won't be long and, and short on the top. I want a big, uh, leafy, branchy tree. Uh, oh, look, the Rufus made a friend. I see. Um, yes, okay. So, let's see. That is exactly not what I wanted. Uh, that's the thing with these giant spruce trees is, like, nine out of ten times, it's going to be this giant trunk with a little tiny tree on top. And so... We're gonna just uh, skip ahead and uh, or clip ahead to the different trees that I make. See how many tries we can get, or we have to do this without 
um, getting the right tree, so bear with me. Oh, and thanks a lot, jerk face. Oh my goodness. And here's tree number two. Okay, so now here's tree number three. Hmm, this is a difficult decision because it looks okay, except for the top. Look at that. See, now, when my family goes Christmas tree shopping, um, we go out to a tr tree farm and we look for a good tree, the perfect tree. Um, and it, we, we always end up taking, like, hours there just because we have to find the perfect Christmas tree. Which isn't quite true nowadays because I feel like a lot of us just want to get it over with. And, but we still enjoy it. It's just, like, we want to find the tree fast because it's cold sometimes. Like, the, at least this year, it was really cold. Um... But, yeah, this tree is okay, but it's not the perfect Christmas tree. I've seen better. Um, so we're going to keep on doing this until we find the perfect tree. I'm serious. I, if you haven't noticed, I just uh, made a diamond axe. Uh, I know, a frivolous diamond user right here. Um, but I just want a diamond axe because I had enough diamonds. I also have new shoes. Uh, they are Air Jordans, uh, Feather Falling 2 with projectile protection. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Um, and with this fortune pick or fortune axe, um, I read in the wiki, so I it's confirmed that if you hit the leaves with the axe, um, that'll have like a 14% more chance of you dropping saplings, which is good because. Uh, we need saplings, especially with these the long trees with no, no leaves. Um, they don't drop as many saplings, I've noticed. So uh, we'll just keep on going. I'll sh I'll see you when I see you. And nope, nope, no, definitely not. Aw, oh, man. No. And no. No. Well, that's tiresome. I've just been spending, I feel like it's been five hours since I started this video. Um, I While I was up in the tree, I thought this place might be a good place to start a Christmas tree. Maybe... Instead of town center being that over there towards the bottom of the hill, maybe it should be up here. Uh, yeah, we'll try right here. This looks like a great spot. Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe it'll actually grow better here. We'll see. Uh, no. Not at all. Well, back to the grind. Well, that's a step in the right direction, but still not quite it. Ah, this is exhausting. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that. That doesn't even look like a good tree at all. Hmm. Well, let's check over here. I haven't put one up here yet, but uh, we'll just put one up. Uh, it's been a day. I... After my last clip, I decided to uh, take a break. Oh, there we go. And nope, not it. <sighs> I decided to take a break because I was getting tired of this uh, grind of chopping down trees and then putting them back up again. Uh, but it seems that we'll be uh, continuing on. All right, see you in the next clip. Now that is a tree. That is much better. Um, but you may be wondering, where did I did I spawn this? Uh, you probably aren't wondering, actually. This looks pretty good. Uh, pretty natural, uh, except it's not quite. <laughs> uh, I ended up, I ended up thinking to myself, as like, 
I could spend hours and hours trying to pick out the right tree, or I could spend hours, or less than an hour, uh, making my own tree. And that's exactly what I did. So uh, I picked that last tree that we uh, got out of this um, was actually is actually a modification, or this is actually a modification of that tree. And look at that. Uh, let me take a screenshot of that. How cool is that? Um, yeah, so there we have it. We have our tree that will be our Christmas tree, um, but we will uh, put some decorations on it. I made a little peak of the tree because it's a four. Um, it's a four. It's an even number of uh, box uh, blocks um, to make these trees, so it will be a little asymmetric. But uh, have no worries. It, it still looks like a good tree, I think. Um, I didn't like the top, so I changed it a little bit. And I think it looks better than a lot of the trees I've seen in this world. Um, at least if you want a nice, natural-looking Christ Christmas tree. Uh, I'm going to stop talking about that, and we'll start decorating after these, uh, this break. Isn't that a nice bridge? Hmm, I wonder who could have built that. Oh yeah, me. All right, so, ba oh, look at this. Um, so I did a, oh, and that. Uh, I didn't mean to show you that yet. I was going to give you a little bit of a surprise to that, but too late. Look at that. Um, so I was, side note, um, I was taking down this tree, and uh, I've done this before, but just so you guys have a little bit of, uh, um, inspiration to your trees in your worlds um i mean this is really cool i think it kind of is it's really easy to do just do a spiral staircase up and it kind of looks really cool from any uh angle that you put it at um this kind is of, this is a kind of weird angle though um <laughs> it just looks like zigzag but it's still pretty cool Anyways, um, so I got a little bit done, um, and goodness me, I need to get this video up and done, so I'm going to get it done tonight. I feel like, well, let's see what time it is. It is 12.40 on a Wednesday night, and uh, I have work to do in the morning, but um, I just need to get this done. I need need to get some videos up. Um, and uh, I am so sorry, guys, for your, for you having to be patient. You don't need to be patient. You shouldn't ever have to be patient to watch anybody's videos, I feel. Um, but, I mean, life is life, and I need to, uh, I need to check my, uh, myself before I wreck myself. <laughs> Anyways... Um, so I, what are we gonna do with the rest of this tree? I was gonna put a star up. Um, gonna do. I was gonna do redstone lamps, um, or glowstone lamps. But you just you just can't make a center point. I mean, you could force a center point on this tree, but since it's a two by two trunk, you just can't have a center. So there's not gonna be any any star. I'm sorry. Um, usually that's kind of a, a big thing for anybody's family. When you're decorating a tree, the star is the last thing to go up. And uh, there's a big ceremony. I'm going to eat this carrot. And uh, But I'm not going to do that. Uh, this is going to be a non-denominational tree, I guess. One of the things with trees that I like to do is that you got to have a theme. Um, my uh, family back... Uh, my family, my roots of Christmas tree decorating have been memory decor or ornaments, um, and but you have to have memories in order to have memory ornaments. Um, so uh, me and my wife started a just a themed tree of uh, silver and blue, uh, which we like very much, and uh, yeah, so we've been doing that. Uh, and I, I continue to do that even though we're separated. I still have that uh, silver and blue tree. 
Um, and uh, so, yeah, very, uh, I mean, it's, it's um, very uh, bichromatic, chromatic, I guess you could say. Um, there's just, there's two colors uh, besides the green of the evergreen. Um, already taking way too much time discussing this issue. Uh, let's get started. So what I want to do is I have a theme of red, of course, um, of redstone blocks, which is beautiful. I had enough. I wanted to do uh, kind of a red and silver with, um, with either wool, but definitely after thinking about it, I wanted to do iron blocks. Um, but I uh, don't have enough iron. I used up my iron on something else that I was going to do for another uh, idea for decorating this tree. I've had a lot of ideas in the past week, and uh, this is the best idea that I've come up with just because I've I've tested it out and a lot in creative, and we're just going to put icicles. Go with icicles. Um, and it's going to be on the bottom. It's going to have kind of this uh, cross icicle look with occasional um, just little tiny pieces right there and like there um, yeah and we're also gonna do blue so um, each area uh, not but we don't want to connect them uh oh I don't want to destroy my tree excuse me zombie I don't know where you're coming from but you are you need to not be so annoying Anyways, I'm going to cover that up right there. And we're just going to do this blue, light blue glass. I did that already, didn't I? Uh, this light blue glass and a white mix. Um, let's go ahead and get our silk touch pickaxe. We're going to need that. And pick out some of the things that we feel is getting too much blue in there. There we go. So as you can see, just decorating it like that um, and m working our way up the tree. I'm going to get this done and ready for you, and I'll be with you in a sec. Hmm. OK, so here we go. The unveiling of our Christmas tree for our Christmas special. And here it is. Whoa. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. I wish there was a star or some kind of peak to it, but, um, it just didn't work with everything, so, um, that was okay. It just looks kind of unfinished on top, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll think of something later, but right now I really, really gotta get this, uh, this episode out and, and upload it. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you to all that are watching, and, uh, what do you think of the Christmas tree? I like it. So, yeah, I, as you, as I said in my last clip, um, I put a little bit of ice coal to it. Um, I want to make it look a little bit like a white Christmas, and, uh, and then I put some snow on top, and it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty natural, like the snow, at least, um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and there's the snowman that I used to, uh, to put the snow out. Um, and we can free him now. I don't need you. Or I don't need him now anymore. It's, uh, Charlie Lookalike. If you, uh, watched our, my last video with, uh, Danny X Boy 720 you know that, uh, Charlie is the snowman, and now he's just pooping all over this place. Hey, why don't you clean up after yourself, dude? Oh my goodness. Can't take him anywhere. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully in the next episode, or in, the, in some coming episodes, we can uh, have some fun with uh, Danny X-Boy and, and his friends. So, uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, thank you for watching, and have a good night. See ya. Bye.